Let's take a look at this Marauder Mini by Just Call Me Coco with a few modifications. So you can see on the back here that we've got the GPS antenna and we've got the Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz antenna. And just for reference, this is running the ESP32 chip to run Marauder. So I've got these, this antenna on here, and uh, it didn't come with this antenna. It came with this antenna right here. This little like ceramic type antenna. But it wasn't as powerful as I'd like it to be, as quick as I'd like it to be. So I made a few modifications. As you can see, it's also not plugged into anything. So the Marauder Mini's power comes from right here. But I've installed an internal battery and we'll take a look at that too. So the first thing I wanna do is shut it off. I'm gonna take the SD card out, put that right over here. I'll unscrew both antennas. So, this antenna for GPS is a 915 megahertz antenna. This is my 2.4 gigahertz antenna. And now I'll take the back apart or the back, the front apart. There's four screws on the front here. Whenever you're taking this thing apart, and more important, when you're putting it back, the on-off switch, you want to make sure uh, that you kind of place that in first after you make any of these modifications. And always take the SD card out. It, uh, it creates like a, a lip that can be deal, uh, hard to deal with. All right, so let's open this up. And this is the board. This is the Marauder mini board right here. And you can see that I've got a battery attached, an external battery. Now, when I first got this battery, and this is not the battery that's really recommended to use with this unit. Um, but it is bigger than the one that's kind of recommended. And when I got this battery, the cables for the battery, the connections were opposite. So this here is the negative side. Let's see if we can get this close enough to see. This top part is the negative side. Right? Negative. This is positive. Negative, positive. Now, when I purchased this battery, the cables were on reverse. The positive was on the top. The negative was on the bottom. So what I ended up having to do was take a pair of tweezers and go in there and unhook, detach right in here. Just go in there with a pair of tweezers, that side. You kind of press down. Sometimes you have to get in on this little plastic lip right here. There's a tiny little plastic lip. Sometimes, I mean, just with the slightest effort, you have to lift it. Push this little piece of metal in and boom, you can get these out. Right on each side. And then you hook them up the opposite way. If you don't, <laughs> and you hook it up the wrong way and, and you connect it, you get a nice little... Um, plume of smoke that comes up and it means that you've destroyed the ability for 
the device to charge the battery. So it'll still work with a battery that's charged, but it won't charge the battery itself. So you reverse those, then stick it right in there. back in cool now the next thing I wanted to do was so I I got the battery installed it's a little bit bigger so you have to be um, creative with how you insert it into the housing but I also wanted a better antenna so I purchased the cable it was um, an IPEX-1, really when you want to get down to it, but really an IPX or IPEX uh, cable for GPS. Um, it's a, uh, sometimes they call it like a PCI or a coax, but it's really um, the, the, the SMA cable and it's a female cable. So what that means is that this part's going to take the point inside of it. So here's the female. And it's going to connect to this GPS port right here, the male. And originally, this was the one that was connected. So this was connected. It's connected right in there. And this kind of just sat on the top right here. But I want it a little bit stronger. So what I did with the placement, stuck it in here. So I've got the board, I've kind of got uh, the battery connected, I've got the um, antenna for the 2.4 gigahertz connected right here. And now I want to place this battery in a good spot. And get this antenna kind of in there, turned around. And now I'm going to attempt to connect this cable right here. This little spot. Right. I want to get it right in there if I can. I know I can because I've done it before. We'll get it in here. Come on. Come on. And when you do get it in, you feel a nice little click in there. Nice little and you know you got it. There it is. I know I got it. So now the antenna's in. I kind of, you know, bring the end this GPS antenna for the for the GPS side down around this battery. I'll lift the battery a little bit so the antenna goes around it. It's just because I'm using a slightly bigger battery. There it went. See, kind of went under it and around it a little bit. And now, remember I was talking about the on-off switch right here? This guy? I want to get this guy under first. And then now the face is on there nicely. So now I should have everything connected correctly. Now I want to put the face back on. So let's get this stuff going here. Get a few of these screws in. I know we're good. You do not have to screw this in tight. You're not looking for a watertight seal. It is not a watertight housing yet. Right. 
eight. Not too tight, but you know, enough. And now the moment of truth. So we're gonna take this SD card, we're gonna stick that in there. We're going to take the 2.4 gigahertz antenna, we'll screw that in. Then we'll take the 915 megahertz antenna, screw that into the GPS side. Get it in there. GPS, Wi Fi. And now let's see if it works. So we'll turn it on and it'll take, uh, there you go, all right, we've got the battery connected. It'll take a second or a minute or two or so to get GPS going. So let's just take a look here. It sees the card, the SD card, very good. It sees the GPS, very good. It sees the GPS chip. Now we can see here, on GPS is red, so we don't have any satellites yet, but hopefully in a minute, as long as I connected everything correctly to the antenna, this will go green. When it goes green, this red light will start flashing. And when it starts flashing, we know we are connected to some satellites. And then we can start doing all our cool Marauder stuff with GPS. Like war driving and station war driving. And we've got all the Bluetooth stuff. You can pretty much Bluetooth war drive. There it is right there. Bluetooth war driving. Yeah, so hopefully this comes up pretty soon so I can be good with my GPS and my Wi-Fi and everything. Let's see here. And uh, this antenna, as long as everything works correctly, uh, works wonderful with GPS. Let's see here. We got no satellites yet. Let's bring it. Maybe it wants to be closer to a window. Usually it just works. But on, on some initial connections, it will take a little while, so always be wary of that. But we will go over to a window here. Let's take a look and see if we can see some satellites. All right, we'll take it over to the window. Oh, there it is, look at that. Just went green. See that GPS right there? It went green. And I bet we're blinking over here. Yep, we're blinking. So now we can go here and start marauding. I'm gonna maraud sniff. Let's do a little war drive sniff. Boom, there we go. So we're connected to GPS. We're getting all of our information, all of our 2.4 gigahertz information. A little station sniff there. We can see still connected to GPS. Very good. Yeah, so it works. So what we were able to do here is take the Marauder Mini, hook uh, 
nice biggie battery to it and a new antenna and get our our war driving and GPS information let's make sure that all the other stuff works let's see if uh, let's see here what are we gonna do oh I know what we could do we can do a Bluetooth attack just to make sure just to make sure Let's see here, swift pair. Let's make sure that's working. Bring it closer. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there it goes. <laughs> I know you guys can't see it, but it's definitely working. And yeah, that's it. So we've taken the Marauder Mini by Just Call Me Coco, installed the new battery, and an antenna making it wireless and much more powerful. Running Marauder.